<clears throat> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Mooney Mercury Baby podcast where we talk about real shit from a spiritual perspective. And god damn it, I hate repeating myself. So I gotta do this redo video because randomly out of nowhere, um, my internet wanted to act real slow and stupid. That's gonna get fixed today. So in the meantime, I'm gonna just do this pre-record real quick and go oh and pretty much redo the video I did yesterday that was way too laggy and choppy for my taste once I ran it back to check it. There was a lot of parts, a lot of key parts that got fucking blurted out. And I don't even I sometimes I'll be wondering like is it just my the 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 internet company being ass or is it, it or is the shadow government in on this or something like you know what I'm saying real shit like who knows are they working together whatever the fuck man I don't, I don't know I don't want to speculate too much I don't really give a fuck that much but as long as the shit get fixed because y'all know my shit never acted like that before that was the first time like yeah there was a couple times in older live streams where it would lag a little bit. But never like that. The whole entire fucking stream, nah, hell nah. And then fifty percent of the sh of the shit being said is getting skipped over. Ah, oh, hell nah. They fucking with the message. Fuck that. I'm gonna make sure the whole message get through with this pre-record that don't need a fucking good internet connection. You feel me? So we're gonna go over it again, cause the shadow government ain't stopping shit if they in on this, and the or the or the resistance energies ain't stopping shit. I should say the resistance energies ain't stopping shit. The challenges of life and shit. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. As I can see, I'm still a little tiny bit sick. I'm I'm damn near almost a hundred percent better though. Um. But yeah, we're going to keep it pushing. You feel me? Let's talk about this again. Let So this time, y'all get the full message. Let's talk about the economy's inflation from a real perspective. What do I mean by that? Look, in this video, we're not going to break down the economy itself, inflation itself, the, the monetary system itself, and how it works and why it's bullshit. If, if y'all didn't know by now, that's an old video I already did called Money is an Outdated and Barbaric Concept Destroying and Transforming the Business Pillar. If y'all haven't seen that, if y'all don't want to take spiritual accountability for your frequency awareness on that, then that's on you. But that video already has all the information in case you still think that this system is the best we can do or is some like fucking futuristic advanced shit or whatever. When well, nah, it just con conceptually and physically, this shit is barbaric. And I already broke it down in that video and uh, in many other lot videos as well in many different ways that just don't involve the money system. But everything outdated to my, my, my spirit. I'm, I'm too evolved for this fucking limited ass dumb shit. <clears throat> you feel me? But hold up. So yeah. If you don't if if you this video is only for those who know that inflation and the economy and the monetary system is bullshit. You have to already know that. You feel me? That's what this video is for. That's what the context of this video is. So let's talk about the economy's inflation from a real perspective. For those who are real enough to already know this shit and took accountability for their awareness. If you don't know, you're not real enough yet and you got to learn more about life and the world you in. You feel me? Real shit. Um, now for all my real spirits who, who are, who are going to keep up and understand what the context of this video is. We already know the system is bullshit, right? But the purpose of this video is not to condemn it or expose it like like the previous video I mentioned in reference that y'all could go watch. Um, this is actually a self-accountability video. You feel me? Something that we can all learn from as individuals since we have to go by the since there's not enough people that's aware enough to wake up from this shit and not just fucking blindly go along with it as a cog in a machine and then we're all forced to do it even the ones that know it's bullshit because there's too many numbers of retards out there that think this is the right thing to do or the best thing to do right so we already know the system is bullshit but the purpose of this video is not to condemn it this is actually a self accountability video because Inflation in the economy affects every spirit differently. You feel me? Not just physically, but metaphysically as well. We're about to get into that right now. You feel me? So I'm not, I'm not. So in this video, 
we're not really going to compl uh, complain or condemn or even uh, point out the flaws and the bullshit in the system and the shadow government. We're not going to really, that's not the point of this video too much. Uh, maybe a little bit, but it's mo mainly going to be about you as a spirit that has to, that that's in this fucking world and and, and, and has to deal with it. Unfortunately, <laughs> due to a lot a mass amount of retards. <laughs> so, um, check it out. Inflation is only going to fully affect the sheep and bots because they are more lost within this synthetic world and system and all the desires that they can't control or become more aware of right they're still lost in their animalistic natures that caters to this barbaric outdated world animalistic barbaric mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see connect dots connect dots inflation is only going to fully affect the most animalistic sheep and bots who are the most lost in their desires because the more loss you are in your desires, the more the more loss you're going to get in this synthetic system, in this synthetic world. Because nine times out of ten, y'all humans desires is some man-made shit from a goddamn Mason or in, in the Matrix or some shit. Or in the, somebody in the shadow government. I don't even want whoever the fuck run this world. The, the original families that run all the monetary systems and all these systems and like the religious pillar the entertainment pillar the business pillar the politics pillar the education pillar all these five pillars that the whole humanity is based off of the people that created these things um they they they, they do it intentionally and on purpose and it has nothing to do with advancing society as a whole it has everything to do to cater to their insecurities and their desires of wanting to control every single fucking thing in the world you feel me? So that that alone off rip. I hate that I even have to repeat myself on shit like that. But that alone off rip shows you how barbaric and outdated this shit is, right? Especially the monetary system. Because they didn't have to take it this deeply. They could have left it as like a a side reward system and not something that your survival depends on. Man, I'm not going to repeat myself. I, like I said, watch the other video I referenced. But anyway, inflation is only to, to go back to topic and not to get too much in a tangent. Inflation is only going to affect, fully affect, it will affect everybody, but it's only going to fully affect the sheep and bots because they're more lost within that world and the system and all their, their desires that they got to fulfill. The more desires you have, the more bills you're going to have. You feel me? Um, like, for example, um, everybody will be physically affected in different ways, right? Depending on your financial sit situation and how good you are financially, right? We're all going to be physically affected in different ways, but we're also going to be mentally and emotionally and spiritually affected in even more different ways, aka meta different metaphysical ways that have nothing to do with your physical financial situation because... Like I said in the in the other video before it started to lag on me and shit, I use an example of two millionaires who make around the same amount of, of income and net worth and all that. Um, but one of them is more spiritually inclined and the other millionaire is not. He's more lost in his in, in these synthetic desires and the lostness of the world and all this shit. So he has a lot more bills. He has a lot more uh financial responsibilities because he put that on himself thinking he needed all these things to feel more fulfilled or satisfied or in, in his life because it's an insecure spirit from the jump that don't know how to fulfill themselves internally to a certain degree and then boom he they, um, of course the economy's of inflation is gonna fuck with that spirit a lot more and put them in a more fucked up state of being because they're more lost in that world they're always going to be anxious and nervous about the state of the economy and all this shit because they have so much different like they're more lost in that shit they're they could even be more greedy more materialistic because of these things man all types of shit because their spirit just don't know how to let go of these things and just be now the other millionaire who's more spiritually inclined they don't really give too much of a fuck about it, the economy's inflation and shit like that. It don't really affect them um, metaphysically like that. It may affect both these millionaires physically because they're making the same amount of money and they're in the same tax bracket and all that bullshit. And they probably have similar businesses and shit because they're they're making around the same amount the same amount of money, right? But if one uh, one spirit who's a millionaire who's more spiritually inclined ain't don't have so many bills. 
don't is it is it really too lost and over shopping and over copying shit even though everything getting more expensive you you, you see it they're, they're they're a lot less lost and giving a fuck about the money in the world in general like they don't really they're more minimalist they probably already buy the cheapest shit anyway so the econ- economy's inflation ain't really affecting them that much they never really bought that much to begin with anyway you see what i'm saying like it's both millionaires are getting affected physically the same exact exact way because they're in the same financial situation but metaphysically spiritually mentally emotionally and all that shit they both handling this shit in in two totally different states of beings one is more lost in the world the other one is more spiritually inclined and less lost in the world so of course inflation is only going to fully affect the sheep and bots who are more lost in this synthetic these synthetic programs and these synthetic desires and mentalities of thinking that they got to do this and that and think that this this is the right thing when really a lot of that shit just stems from people that run the world their insecurities because they set up the system to be catered around that shit i'm not going to repeat myself like i said in previous videos y'all could go watch that if you're lost i told y'all this video is only for real spirits who who already came to this real conclusion if you haven't come to this real conclusion or, or this real perspective yet and accepted it you still somewhere lost in this synthetic program and somewhere in a certain percentage level of you is still programmed because this is the most realest most purest most this is reality. This doesn't have a bias. What I'm telling y'all is the truth. It, it, it is what it is type shit. If you can't accept it, then you're still overly lost in this world and give it too much power. Um, Like I said, now back to what I was talking about, though. Everybody will be physically affected in different ways, but also mentally and emotionally and spiritually in even more different ways. Hell, even if you was, like I said in my previous video, even if you was more broke, and and, and and wasn't a millionaire and you was just a regular uh, everyday uh, average average wage as everybody else type shit right you could still handle this economy's inflation way better if you're spiritually inclined in that position versus the non-spiritually inclined millionaire i was talking about earlier you, you see what i'm saying even though you get in more af- affected more physically because you you make a lot less money you, you see what i'm saying so and you know how to just budget better and everything and still be satisfied with, with a lot less look i have jupiter and capricorn from an astrological perspective i know all about this shit nobody gonna tell me about this type of shit i, I spirit gave me that alignment for a reason you feel me i know I, I know i know how to be satisfied with very little jupiter and capricorn you feel me i know how to make a very little look like a lot or at least the right things shit that's like your character and your and your perspectives and your spirit not no synthetic bullshit that's why i don't even like to promote this system and their money too much because i know where it stems from you see what i'm saying it's shit deep everybody will be physically affected in different ways but also mentally and emotionally and spiritually aka metaphysically even more different you will be affected even more differently everybody due to your spirit and, and how 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 inclined are you how much growth have you done how how much how much have you detached from this world to not really need it to fulfill you matter of fact the more you evolve spiritually the the less the world this outdated world gonna fulfill you anyway because you already been there done that and it's already like old and boring and stupid and you just see it for what it is and yeah, if humans ain't there yet then that that just means they're more let they're less aware smaller spirits you feel me they gotta grow more probably go through a few more lifetimes and shit to realize that the shit they chase is bull is bullshit you feel me so the more spiritual growth and shadow work you done the less um the less the state of the economy is going to affect you shout out to uh, spiritual content creators like sean c Wan. he 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 even brought up in some of his videos um uh how like if you're like on a breatharian path or if you eat a lot less food the economy's inflation ain't gonna affect you that much but if you're a glutton if you're gluttonous and you always gonna be in that desire of overeating a lot of course the economy's inflation is gonna affect you because you still haven't uh done the shadow work to not need to be so lost in all those things you see what i'm saying so of course the economy's inflation is gonna affect you more you're more you're a more addicted spirit and i'm talking about consuming anything not just drugs like society makes y'all weak spirits only think that's the bad thing to be nah it's food too 
uh, uh, especially unhealthy food and shit like that. So, you know, that's just how it is. Um, any a, anything that you need to over consume from the external, you, you're not doing the shot, the proper shadow work to not really be, need need these things or be so lost in these things in the first place. That's why I said, um, the the more sh spiritual growth and shadow work you done, the less the state of the economy is going to affect you for real. So shout out to spirits like Sean C. Juan for making me aware of that. Y'all go subscribe to him. I I've, uh I be sharing his videos sometimes. You feel me? One of the few spirits I could fully respect. You feel me? Because they they have a, a, a aware enough perspective to see shit for what it is. Bullshit, outdated, dumb shit. You feel me? So now the sheep and now check this out, y'all. Um, y'all now y'all want to know the crazy part about this whole thing? The, the, now this is the part of the video that I think got skipped over the most on my last live stream, and this shit is important. Y'all need to know this part. Probably the shadow government was fucking with me and my internet connection because of of uh, I wouldn't even take that out of out of consideration because I was about to get into some deep shit and I'm about to tell y'all what that is right now. So yeah, I need a haircut. <clears throat> but anyway, I don't give a fuck that much though. You feel me? All right, so check it out. The sh <coughs> the sheep and bots actually keep the inflation going when the shadow government tests the waters on it. Because remember, they still want their system to run. They still want to make money. Who the fuck y'all think is selling all these products and shit that y'all consume? Them, the people that run the world. They own everything. Um, uh, or at least a large, uh, um, uh, 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 a small group runs, uh, or a, uh, small groups of families run damn, uh, own damn near everything. You know, parent companies of shit and certain gatekeepers, and they put damn near everybody on and all types of shit. So they have positions for everybody, right? It's really gate kept that tightly. Y'all humans don't even know that. But anyway, that's why everybody's a puppet and shit, and why no spirit, real, real spirits or real powerful spirits have been put in a powerful position yet because of what we're talking about so check it out the sheep and bots actually keep the inflation going when the shadow government tests the waters on it because they still want to sell shit right they still want their their currency and their monetary system to function and work right aka they they don't want to make shit too expensive to the point where nobody can cop anything but only just expensive enough for where people are still buying shit so as long as this, so consequentially, consequential, uh, consequentially, I think that's the word, <laughs> like the consequences of shit, since the sheep and bots don't have no self-respect and are still willfully willing to pay for overpriced shit and get fucked over, uh, and, and get fucked over for it, <laughs> knowing damn well the, the, the elites knowing damn well it don't gotta be like that they could easily overnight make shit just as cheap as it's ever been because they regulate the monetary system this ain't this, this shit ain't no goddamn shit that's beyond their control this is that's part of the witchcraft that they lie to y'all about in politics and economics and shit people that think economics is like a a, a natural shit by itself that's not controlled how it is now they don't even know about economics don't fucking listen to people like that if they ain't talking like me, they don't know about fucking economics. I know about that shit. Watch my video breaking it down. I'll repeat again. Money is an outdated barbaric concept destroying and transforming the business pillar. Y'all could go watch that video if you don't fucking believe me. I break down the history of it and every fucking thing. The Federal Reserve, don't fucking play with me, yo. Don't fucking play with me. Y'all humans don't know shit. Wake, the, learn some more before before speaking on shit and getting blood on your fucking hands and promoting shit that y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all promote that's outdated and limited and barbaric. So the sheep and bots actually keep the inflation going when the shadow government tests the waters. Like, oh, they're willing to pay for this for, for this shit at this high price. Okay, keep it like that. Let, oh, let's try let's let's try to test the waters a little bit more. Let, let's increase the prices a little bit more. Oh, they're still all paying for it. Oh, we're not losing that much money. Okay, yeah, keep keep it like that. Oh, oh, they're oh they're oh they're they're they're, they're still paying for shit. Oh, let's try to put it up a little bit more. Oh, they still pay for shit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, let's keep raising it a little bit. That's what they're doing. That's it. Just human animal monkey bullshit. Barbaric, dumb, animalistic, retard shit. That's what that's all they're doing. 
And then y'all keep biting the bait. The moment everybody, a, a large percentage of people say, you know what, fuck this, I'm not paying for this shit anymore, guess what's going to happen? They're going to put the prices down because they've reached that peak limit of, oh, nobody's paying for shit. The economy's shutting down. We don't know. We got to keep running it. Keep selling shit. Oh, oh, oh. It's all based off cons- consuming, consume, 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 consume. That's the foundation of it. Stupid, insecure, dumb shit, manipulation bullshit. That's why I don't fuck with this system. Y'all humans got to wake the fuck up. We got technology for a reason to be self-sustainable for a reason. I'm not going to repeat myself again on, like, on previous videos. If you don't fucking know this shit by now, I don't know what the fuck to tell y'all. But that's all they're fucking doing is does not go no further than that it, it is not something beyond their fucking control like all oh, the economy's out of our control it's out of our hands no motherfucker they do you know how the federal reserve work do you know that the mon- how the monetary system work do you know they regulate the the, the value of it and everything and, and the the amount of come on i don't be stupid don't, don't be fucking dumb like damn and, and, and then what do you think the politics pillar is for it's to regulate the shit but they dragged their feet on that, and I broke down that shit too. Watch my other video called Destroying and Transforming the Politics Pillar. Bro, don't fuck with me right now. Oh, Shadow Gun, don't fuck with me. Y'all, y'all, y'all about, y- y'all, I swear, if I find out y'all has something to do with c- fucking up my live stream uh, yesterday, I'm, I'm about to do some fucking ritual curses on y'all motherfuckers. For real. Don't play with me. Y'all, y'all already have one effective spirit doing that to y'all. Shout out, shout out, Archangel Uriel. Yeah, you don't want another one now. Don't. I mean, I, I mean, I will do it. I don't give a fuck. But if you make it personal and shit, and and, pre- and try to censor me, and, and and prevent all possibilities from using me as a vessel to put out the truth, the necessary truth people need to hear to break out, to really break out and evolve out these outdated systems. And bitch, let me fucking speak. Stay out my way, and I won't get in your way. That's it. Don't play with me now. <laughs> Now, imagine if everybody collectively stopped paying for overpriced shit. The prices would go back down like a boycott. If everybody had the self-respect and the common sense to realize, oh, no, nah, this is too much for a fucking cereal box. I'm not paying for this shit. Guess what's going to happen? All the cereal box companies are going to put their prices down. It would just happen for everything, dead ass. If 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 everybody had enough common sense, and then it would happen overall on a monetary, uh, uh, uh Federal Reserve from the Federal Reserve too. They would even re- re-regulate the value of the dollar and all. Man, y'all humans don't even. Know. It's not that deep, y'all. This shit is. <laughs> don't let them do witchcraft on y'all and lie to y'all and manipulate y'all in the mind to think that this shit ain't beyond their fucking control. They have full control of this shit. And they're just testing the waters with y'all. And that's why we're talking about the economy's inflation from a real perspective. If motherfuckers ain't talking about it like this, they don't know what the fuck they talking about. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I think that's everything I had to say. I'm out. Peace.